So it's been a while since Mifo has crossed our desks, and the last time was when we checked out the Mifo 05 headphones back in 2019. Now this time around, they've sent through their new Mifo S Sports earbuds, complete with a super intricate design and small size. There's no doubt that Mifo's headphones are aimed at sports enthusiasts, from the packaging through to the vibrant design of the earbuds case, and even the earbuds themselves just scream sports. Quite literally on the case, as it actually says, sports and outdoor. Though why Mifo decided to go with Outdo instead of Outdoors left me scratching my head a little bit. They could have easily wrapped the green banner around both sides of the actual case. It's just, it's just a very odd choice of design. Now the case though as usual acts as the charger and can provide up to 40 hours of playback. Though the earbuds themselves are only capable of around 6 hours. Which in today's wireless earbuds worlds is pretty poor. Especially considering the cost of these. The case has a button on the front which pops the lid where the headphones can sit and charge. And there's a battery indicator that flashes for a few seconds letting you know how much juice is left in the earbuds. The case is built fairly well, feels very robust and is nice and smooth to the touch. Just like really holding a metal pebble. Now I'm not sure how long the hinge on the case will actually last. Being flung open constantly to get your headphones and mine here does feel a little loose already. It doesn't sit rigid either when open and there's quite a bit of movement to the lid when moving the case around. There is a USB Type-C charging here and it comes with a nice green cable to match the green aesthetic of the case. The Mifo S earbuds do offer a super snug fit. I had no issues with them falling out of my ears. They were in there for the long haul and actually offered a decent level of comfort too. I of course, like all other headphones that I use ever, used the largest size earbuds I could to offer that extra noise isolation and also to create a better seal in my ear canal. There are four sizes of earbuds available which follow small, medium, large and extra large size guides or some may think a pair of them are actually extra small because they are just so tiny. Now replacing the earbuds though was an absolute nightmare to the point where I just wanted to lob all of this just across the room in frustration. It's an awful, awful design. It's almost like the rubber section of the bud that hooks to the driver itself was far too small for the actual driver. Now the actual earbuds themselves, I actually really like the small and sleek design. They're probably some of the smallest earbuds around, if not the smallest. Now they're definitely the smallest that we've seen here at Techno Over which is unique in a way. They're also tipped for a better fit when doing sports. They're also IPX7 rated as well, so technically you could wear them in the shower if you wanted to, but unfortunately, they're not good enough for a swim. They also have touch sensitive controls on either earbud and everything is done on the fly rather than through an app which is good and bad in my opinion. Now there's no need for an extra app on your phone, but the taps can be a little inconsistent at times and I had a bit of trouble, especially when it came to tapping each earbud three times to perform an action, let alone five times on a certain action. Now one standout feature is the low latency mode, which takes five taps on each earbud, which works especially well if you're playing games on your phone like Fortnite or PUBG Mobile. Now I tested these headphones mainly while out and about as they produce somewhat of an active noise cancellation, though this is nowhere near as strong as other premium headphone brands on the market. It does a somewhat good job of reducing ambient noise, but doesn't block out much in all honesty. I could still easily hear cars go by, dogs barking in the distance, and other ambient noises that you typically find when out walking or jogging around the streets. The ambient mode is basically non-existent as well, which is a shame, especially when music is playing. However, I was actually pleasantly surprised with the audio quality for the music I was listening to. Now, for the most part, they favor a very warm sound. Bass tracks very rarely overpower music, though there were a couple of cases, especially listening to hip hop tracks, where the bass was just very loose and really lacked precision. Treble was well controlled and high up pitched instruments shone through, though vocals did seem a little muted. I would have liked to have had a bit more separation in the music. Now a few notable moments that I did note down on my phone while I was out walking was Mark Cohen's Walking in Memphis. It just lacks that live feeling that's picked up, that slight rebirth effect, you know. The guitar solo in Radiohead's Paranoid Android was just lost in the chaotic interlude, and the Arctic Monkeys' Mardi Bum fared much better and had a nice mix of twang to the guitars against the bass line, but the snare and the rim shots again were just lost and they just lacked that snap. Now call volume suffers somewhat from sounding a little too quiet as well and you're going to be reaching for the volume up button compared to your mid volume music. The quality of people speaking to you though down the phone is fine, it's 
nothing really special. And again, walking around my local area and taking phone calls, I had no problem hearing the caller's voice. But again, the lack of decent ANC meant that background noise did get in the way. So I'm back in the kitchen again, as usual, giving you an example of what the Mifo S earbuds actually sound like when using the onboard microphone on the actual earbuds themselves. So as I say, nothing really too special. They're absolutely passable, especially if you're out and about in public. Um, the, the people I was speaking to on the phone were more than able to hear what I was saying uh, from the feedback I received. So, uh, so yeah, it's just an example of, of uh, the kind of performance you can expect from these headphones. The Mifo S earbuds are a nice product with a wacky design. And if you're after a set of earbuds for those evening jogging sessions, then I think these would suit you. I wouldn't rely too heavily on the ambient mode for traffic awareness while crossing the road, for example, or running around the streets. But for audio quality and the slight ANC while listening to music, you're going to be in your own world anyway. Battery life could be better though for the earbuds because six hours for the earbuds just isn't great. The case though does look great and is built really well. Thank you very much for checking out our video review of the Mifo S Sport earbuds. If you enjoyed this video, then do hit that like button, subscribe to keep up with our latest tech and gaming videos. And also let us know in the comments down below what you think about the Mifo S. Would you buy these for your sports usage? Do you like the design? Or do you have any ideas on comparable headphones for the price? Let us know in the comments down below. As I say, thanks very much for watching and we will see you in the next video.